Hey mates, how are we doing? It is uh, Saturday, May 1st, 2021. It is a new month at long last. So yeah, we've got ourselves the Virginia water leaf, also known as Hydrophyllum virginianum. It is a perennial. They're oftentimes in colonies, so you, there's usually bound to see another one nearby. However, I am not quite seeing one. Or, not quite seeing one though. It's just possible that some of them haven't quite bloomed yet. You know? That is always a possibility. But uh, they usually have uh, up to seven lobes in the leaves. And their stamens, as you can see, perhaps, if it clears up, they kind of protrude from the actual uh, flower itself. But they can range from pale pink to a deep purple. And sometimes they can even be white, too. But you can kind of see, like, some of the ones that haven't bloomed yet. They kind of have, like, a hairy appearance to them, as you can see. But yeah, you usually can find these statewide. And they usually do prefer floodplains or stream terraces. So we are indeed in the correct conditions for them. That there's usually four species of them and as I was saying the leaf segments are usually much broader and hairier and another fact too is the lobed leaves are somewhat circular and they kind of remind you of looking at a maple leaf and they do have a specialist pollinator also known as the Andrina Gerani. And they specifically focus on the Hydrophyllum species. But yeah, the Virginia water leaf. You should be able to find plenty of these over at the Clifton Gorge State Nature Preserve. Quite awesome. And this is what I was saying like the leaves here, they kind of remind you of looking at a maple leaf. So that's what I was pointing out just a moment ago. But yeah. Now in terms of why they call it water leaf, I think it's just it's, they require quite a bit of water. And it's possible to suggest that's why it is named that. Sometimes it's difficult to really know the origins of certain names, you know? It's difficult to say. So, alrighty. Thought I would share that with you guys. Hope you learned something. That was just a uh, little spiel of learning about the Virginia water leaf. So, alright mates. Hope all you enjoy the uh, new month of May. And also this beautiful day wherever you are. And once again, journey on a journey is outwards. Take care, folks.